a few years ago, I was sitting in our institute in Warren. And my mother kept calling me. One time, twice, three times, she kept calling me. Finally, I was teaching, I picked up the phone, and she had an intuition. She said, where is Abdul Rahim? He's not picking up his call. And I said to her, it's 12.30, he must be on his way to Munir to teach Hivs because he teaches Alim program here. So he must be on his way to teach Hivs. My mom said, but my, no, my son, every time I call, he picks up and he's not picking up. So find out where he is. Being the son I was, I thought, because they see parents are very overdramatic. We know that. So just in that situation, I said, no, it's okay. He should be fine. I kept doing what I was doing until Mufti Abdul Wahab, who's not here, he calls me, he says, where's Abdul Rahim? He's not picking up his call. I said, he must be in Munir teaching. He doesn't teach with his phone on. So I get out around two o'clock and I get a call from someone from the office. And from behind, from the background of the phone call, I could just hear someone screaming and yelling and crying. And the, the one in the office says, uh, Mufti Sahib, you have to come to the office right away. So I run to the office, I see my brother, Mufti Abdul Wahab, on the ground, you know, breaking things, screaming. I says, everything okay? And he says, our brother passed away. He was 22 years old. I said, no, that's not possible. No way it's possible. I was just with him a few hours ago. He said, no, he passed away. And he's just crying and screaming. So I just walk out of the room. I found out where he got into an accident. It was 25 miles an hour. I said, there's no way it could be a fatal accident. I went and I started praying salah. As I was praying, my other brother, Sheikh Abdul Aziz, he walks in half an hour later. He's the one that's becoming a doctor. He walks in. And as I'm praying salah, when people go through difficulty, there are different du'as that you can recite. The one that we know is inna lillahi wa inna raji'un. Now this du'a you recite when you lose a job, when something bad happens, it's general. But there is one du'a that's specific for a loss of a loved one. When you lose someone, you recite that du'a. That du'a cannot be recited anywhere else. So I was praying and Shaykh Abdul Aziz walks in. He hugs my brother Abdul Wahab. And he starts to recite this dua as I was praying. And he says, Inna lillahi ma akhad wa lahu ma a'ta. Verily, what Allah has taken belonged to him. What he has left behind also belongs to him. I collapsed, I woke up somewhere else. But that was a message to look at things differently. Someone asked Abu Dhar al-Ghifari, anhu, why is it that all your kids pass away? Every time you have a child, it... The child passes away. You know what he said? Alhamdulillah. Alladhi ya'khudhum fi dar al-fana wa yaddakhruhum fi dar al-baqa. The lens was correct. He said, all praises to Allah. The one who takes them from me in this very temporary world and preserves them for me in the everlasting world. 